Come here now, girl. Hey guys, it's your boy Game Anime, and I just finished watching Dragon Ball Super episode 131. And honestly, it's shit. I don't even have to say much uh, about this episode. I can literally just say it's shit. Leave, and you you, you understand what I'm on about. There's no way anyone who cares about this series anymore, and I'm certainly not one of those people, could actually watch this and say, yeah, yeah, this is some good writing. This was fantastic because it was shite. From beginning to end, pure shite. My biggest problem with the first half of this show was the fact that Android of 17, with infinite energy, does not decide to give Sef Sam, Frieza and Goku some of the energy. This made no sense to me. He has infinite amounts of energy. He can literally just... Instead, he chooses to rush in, blow himself up again. Well, when I say blow himself up, attempt to blow himself up again, right? With, with a barrier while Jiren's inside it. Why wouldn't you just give some of your energy to Frieza, some of your energy to Goku, who's, who, who's basically stabbed in the back by Ultra Instinct, right? But don't worry about that. He gets he gets right back up. He's fine. Goku's fine. Don't worry about. Oh no 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 no! You don't need to worry about consequences. This is Dragon Ball Fairy Tale version. There's no consequences. Just like Fairy Tale, you get power ups. Meaningless, meaningless, pointless power ups. For no reason whatsoever and you don't even have to worry about uh, any consequences because this is the new era of dragon ball where fuck consequences fuck continuity and fuck you basically that's basically what this anime is saying oh my god i mean the dude has infinite energy step one give frieza the energy step two give goku the energy step three defeat Jiren. it really is this simple <laughs> this is this is your th three step program for beating Jiren. It, it would take less than a, a second to do this. Oh my days. Uh, the fight itself. What I don't understand is how Frieza keeps losing his golden form. Like he's a freaking uh, chocolate bar. Whose who's wrapping has to come off every time they want to use him. It makes, he just keeps losing his golden form in the most random ways. He'll be, like, he'll be in golden form. And then he'll just lose it. And he'll come back in golden form. He'll just lose it. It's, it's ridiculous. I don't have him fight in golden form or don't. I, I'm so sick of the way he just constantly loses his golden form. I cannot be the only one who notices this. Like every time Frieza's on the screen, he's gonna go back to his old school Namekian form for, for, for probably nostalgia reasons. It's the only thing I can think of. Oh my days. Oh, let's talk about the uh, final villain. Uh, you know how at the start of this arc, people were saying, well, the Grand Priest might be the final villain of this arc, or um, there might there will be some sort of uprising against the Grand Priest, uh, or, you know, just people was general speculation about fans, about what would happen. Well, I'm here to tell you, you guys need to start writing this story because Toriyama cannot. I, like, he just cannot do anything interesting. The most predictable, predictable ending. You know, oh my days. All right, let me just, let me come back to that because let me just focus on Jiren for now. Jiren basically becomes the classic fairy tale I've been beaten villain, right? First of all, he gets a fairy, he gets a friendship power up. I, could, I was like, wow. Okay, so we're going to have, what, in the span of three episodes, three friendship power ups? So basically, the end of two arcs in Dragon Ball Super has been friendship power-ups. <laughs> like, literal friendship power-ups. Only this made even less sense than when Trunks did it with his spirit sword. Okay, okay. <laughs> like, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Look at the friendship power-up. Goes back into the state where he can handle Ultra Instinct. Doesn't just one shot. Doesn't just two shot. Freaking uh, Android 17 and Freezer, like, with, with low difficulty. No, 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 no. <laughs> he proceeds to use a radius spamming beam of energy like <laughs> 17 blocks with his barrier when his barriers have been shown to do jack shit against that kind of power fantastic fan fucking nasty and and i can assume that he went back into the form that he was in in his final choice because he gets the same glow so you you would think he'd be at least almost as powerful as he was at the start of the, the arc right if he goes back in that glow uh, which would be more than enough to take out 17's barrier uh, oh, but I guess Frieza helps, so the barriers significantly... I don't even understand how you can defend that. It's dumb, right? Okay, it's dumb. I don't even know why you needed him to go back into that state. You could just kept him... Oh, my days. This man literally gets the redemption arc that is usually reserved for fairy tale females. As by the end of this entire arc, he's like, Oh, I now see the power of trust. Okay, 
Fantastic. Fantastic. You are useless. You are actually shite. All right. Now, now I'll actually talk about the ending. Now I'll actually talk about the ending of the Tournament of Power. Okay. So, yeah, everyone's brought back on Dragon Balls. Does that surprise you? No. I think we all kind of expected that to happen from day one. As soon as they said, universes will be erased, I was like, okay, so they're all coming back because this is Dragon Ball. There are zero consequences, zero stakes. This is the reason I don't even like Dragon Ball Z that much. Like, Dragon Ball Z has no stakes, no consequences, and, and bear... Okay, he has good fights. I was going to say shit fights, but he has good fights. Let's, let's be honest. But this this is literally like you expect series to get better. You don't expect them to stagnate and you don't want them to get worse. Right? So the argument that, yeah, but Z also has no consequences and also has no stakes because of the Dragon Balls, right? Which, by the way, had limitations for a good chunk of the series for a good reason. So for the tension, for the suspense, uh, is garbage right it doesn't work because what you're saying essentially is you want the same thing over and over again and if that's the case why don't you just go back and watch it right like, there's no point having new content if you just expect it to all be the same quality right you want better and better not the same shit all all the time so i'm just gonna shut that argument down to me so basically this consequence this tournament of the tournament of power what did we achieve what did we actually do what did we actually learn jack shit goku doesn't even know how to use ultra instincts anymore jiren i doubt can go back into his full power state anymore he did he had to do it on trust and friendship okay um bloody did we learn anything we, we we didn't accomplish anything at the start of the tournament of power there were um 11 universes there were the same number of universes at the start of the tournament are the same number of universes at the end of the tournament so this entire arc is pointless uh, that's basically what that means the entire arc was pointless we could have skipped it and nothing would have changed oh uh, and then there was no nothing about the grand priest being evil even though i think it was implied at the beginning nothing about the reason why all the angels it was just nothing no mythology build nothing it was the most predictable ending with no slice of of a twist no slice of a or something special it was vanilla but mixed in with dog shit it was, it was the <laughs> i don't even know how to describe it. it's the most disappointing ending to the arc we could possibly get right i'm fine with bringing back all the universes in fact i think that was obvious from jump street right but at least showing a twist or something maybe maybe zeno go, maybe the grand priest gets mad and says nah you can't bring back all the universes and then all the angels kind of have to plead on his behalf maybe I, I don't know something I, it just it's so easy it's so fucking it's like oh uh you want the universes back oh actually yeah, sure, no worries i know zeno the most powerful god in the universe oh uh, let's talk about that shit by the way zeno's like uh grandpa's like i think zeno wanted this ending from the start i'm like bull fucking shit it was goku's idea to do this tournament from jump street there's no <laughs> Oh, this show, it tries to justify bullshit with more bullshit and expects you to just buy it. Ugh. And then post this. What actually happens after this stupid tournament of power? I think we get Frieza's been revived by we by um, Whis. So Whis is officially like the most powerful being we've ever seen. He can bring people back from the dead. Doesn't even need Dragon Balls to do it. Ah, so shock. Okay. Uh Frieza goes back to being a villain because um of course he does. Why wouldn't he go back to being a villain? Uh 17, I think, gets his trip around the world, which is a stupid wish to begin with. You could do that with the normal Dragon Balls, you could do that with Bulma, you could do that by just stealing a fucking Zeni ship. I, I don't even understand why that did, that was an issue. Oh my days. Uh, uh, and then uh, we get confirmation that uh, Goku can't go back into Ultra Instinct despite the fact that he mastered, mastered Ultra Instinct, but he can't go back into it. So you master something that you can't do again so you actually did master you fluked fell your way you, you, you slipped and tumbled your way into ultra instinct you bullshitted friendship powered your way into ultra instinct now you can't do it anymore fantastic fairy tales ending had more of a twist in this fairy like are you serious <laughs> like are you actually serious right now this is this is so bad it's so fucking it's like what is wrong with the writers of this series what kind of crack cocaine have they been smoking? Oh my days. So basically, what we've just watched is 40 episodes of pointless filler. This is basically what we watched. Because nothing has changed. Literally nothing. Oh wow. 
we didn't even get to explore the other universes. And I, I, I don't even think we will. Uh, none of the, none of the other four gods of destruction, none of the other four universes that were spared had any sort of like, like Zeno's plan was so the morals will evolve, but for some reason he left out four universes. Okay, that makes sense. That makes perfect sense. Yeah, <laughs> it's like. Oh yeah, my plan is to to uh, see if mortals can change, but I'll leave out the mortals of four universes over there. Ridiculous, actually ridiculous. Uh, like, like honestly, I, people with so many good ideas about the Grand Prix being evil, about the Grand Prix trying to kill Zeno, about uh, the angels maybe trying to turn against the universe. I don't even know, but there were so many good ideas out there, so much shit that could have been done, and we get the most predictable, most cookie. Like, Jesus Christ, man. When the fairy tale's ending has more of a twist. And what I'm talking about, by the way, is the Nalu thing not happening. It, you've got to wonder, like, why am I watching this bullshit? Honestly, GT, GT, I, I haven't seen GT in a long time. I would be willing to put bets that GT's better, right? <laughs> like, Goku <laughs> doesn't even go off the train with the gods to master this new godlike form of Ultra Instinct. We, there is no, no development on God Key, right? God Key basically does the same thing as regular Key, only it's God Key. So there's no development of there, there's, there's no expansion of powers. You, people just get freakishly stronger, you know, you get Fairy Tail Blue, God of Destruction Energy being nerfed so heavily. You, 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 I honestly don't know, like, this was a complete and total waste of time. I think that's probably the best way to describe watching this thing. <sighs> See you guys later.